Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a funny kind of day. The day started out a little really windy, then it went to um, not so windy, and then it went to really downpour rain, and now it's not raining anymore. We did have a little rumble. In fact, you'll hear a little bit of the rumble in the little video that I'm going to put in in just a little bit, not just yet. I gotta tell you. I took Jake, Jake to the vet today, and the lady came to the car. I had to call her on the phone because they have curbside or parking lot or whatever. They actually have a parking lot now where I go. They didn't at one time. They moved to their building. But um, you had to call them, and then they come out to the car. And when she came out to the car, she goes, hi, Jake. And Jake goes, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> it's like, oh, she goes, ooh. I might have to muzzle you. <laughs> Poor Jake. I said, he'll calm down once you take him. Well, he really didn't want to go with her, but he did go. I told him go, and he went, but he was very stubborn about going. But he sure came out real happy and peppy and jumped in the car real fast. He was so glad to get back. And um, so he got his rabies shot today, and they clipped his toenails, and they didn't charge me for the toenails. When I called them to ask them how much this was going to cost for just the rabies shot, because they have to do a physical too. They said they can't just give the shot, they have to do a physical. She said it was going to be fifty-seven fifty. Well, it was exactly $57. So the trimming of the toenails must not be included in that. But thank goodness they well, trimmed them because, included. well, maybe it's included with um, the physical visit. I don't know because... I don't take my dog to the vet very often. We go to the clinic, and that's where we go. I also am going to show you, well, you're not going to see Jake, but you will see the chickens. Today, we're talking about animals. So let's talk about animals. That's all I've got today, really, pretty much. But I'm going to show you the baby chicks. Today, Silver, one, Silver and um, Rhonda were acting like they wanted to get out of the little house. So I opened the one door and they hopped out onto the door and then I opened the side door and they hopped down and Silver took a, a dust bath and Rhonda tried to come out but the rooster kept chasing her back. It was like he didn't think she should be out yet so he was really just, he wasn't being very nice at the moment, at the, that time. So I thought, well what am I going to do? I gotta get these babies out of there. They want out. And the mamas went out. So I got the dog carrier and I was wrapping it with this real fine plastic mesh stuff to cover the outside so that the babies couldn't squeeze through because with the rails on it, they could, they're little enough where they could go through the bars. So I was wrapping it and while I was wrapping it, I happened to look over and there's silver with Four of her ba no, three of her babies were out with her. She had come down and they were out dusting and eating bugs or gr dirt or whatever they were. And I hear these other two babies crying, meow, meow, and going peep, 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 not meowing. <laughs> <laughs> you say, are they cats? No, they were peeping really loud, like calling their mama. And she was down below along with Rhonda. And so... I went over to see if I could pick up one of them, and the one jumps right out. It's like, oh my goodness. Then the other one was like, really, it acted like it was going to jump, but it was afraid to jump. So I picked that one up and put it down, and when I picked it up, it makes a different sound, and Silver was about to attack me because now I've got her baby, and she didn't want me to have her baby. They they make a different sound. It's, it's amazing because they're peeps were distressed before and the when I picked it up it was a different kind of distress. So let's go to the little video and you can see my babies and the two mamas. Today Silver brought her babies down from the house and there's the mama Silver and the Nana mama. Rhonda, that's Rhonda. They're helping to take care of the babies together. 
For a little while, the rooster was giving Rhonda a little bit of trouble, like saying, hey, these aren't your babies. I know they're not your babies, but he's leaving her alone now, and they're taking care of the babies together. It is so darn cute. I have never seen two hens be, the, be mama to babies, but it'll make it easier because Silver likes to eventually give up about four weeks and this way the chickens will have another mama at least for another four weeks and as I'm talking to you I've got one pecking at my foot <laughs> I don't know why but one is pecking at me well ladies enjoy the babies I set up a dog house for the um, bed tonight and I'll have to check if they're in it or not because when Emma was broody, she tried to sleep on the ground and I moved her to the dog house. And she ended up going there every night then, once she knew that that's where she was supposed to sleep with her babies because they won't make it back up into the little house. In fact, this is the dog house. I put grass inside it so that they can have a nice cozy bed. And update on Blackie. She's still sitting in the nest. And I see I have another egg. I'll take this egg. Whoops, it's thundering. We're supposed to be getting some good weather. Really terrible weather, actually. I cleaned the chicken house out. Gave them new, new um, wood chips. And now they can all sleep in here if they wish again. Well, I'll go back in before it starts to rain. There's pretty boy. Hello, pretty boy. And there's his sidekick, Brownie. She just kind of stays with him. I don't think he likes her, though, as far as mating goes. Silver and Nana Hem, Hen, Rhonda, have the babies out in the grass. It just got done raining, a really bad rain. But they've got them both all out here. I'm really amazed. Look how cute they are. We're gonna try to get as close as we can. Yes, hello there, babies. Oh, you're so darn cute. Oh, I think there's, so far, I think there's um, two boys, maybe, and three girls. I'm hoping, I don't know, let me see the backside of you, little one. Um, possibly. Yeah, possibly. I'm hoping. The girls have a lot more wings production, and they've got little tails coming. The boys, they've got less wing and no tail. That's, oh, hello. Oh, you're so darn cute. You're both doing such a nice job taking care of these babies. I just love it. I think it's nice that she's sharing her baby because Silver's really not one to share, but she's going to share this with, with Rhonda. Be interesting to see where they try to sleep tonight. I might have to put them all in the little dog house. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. It's too early to tell. She not only took them down, she brought them outside after the big rain and there was a the river, there was a, I, there was a ditch in the middle of the outside run because the water was, it just runs. It was a real big downpour and we avoided having the, the enclosed run didn't flood this time, which is great because that's what I worry about. I worry about the chickens having a flooded area. It's 
normally very dry in there but when it rains oh my goodness the water just pours it feels like i need sandbags like they do on on dams to dam up the the waters or the banks of for rivers flooding. for flooding yeah i feel like i need that well i'm also going to share at the very end this will be i will share the steps for the week now my week actually i did the first one when i it was on day eight so this one's going to be, I did it on a Thursday, so this one's going to be on a th Thursday again, believe it or not. And so I will put the, the numbers at the end, and then I will put my weekly uh, total, and I will put the month's total that so far for the month. So you'll see the numbers for each day, you'll see the week total, and you'll see the month total. And that is... Is what you will see so if you are interested in this walking there's there's other ladies that are doing this there's simply Pam who is doing it and there's a fruity kind of life that's Heather I like her title it's all one word a fruity kind of life I will put these links in the more section so you can find them and then Caroline Omad Caroline she's doing it too I don't know if she's made a video about it or not, but she's walking also. She's really into fitness also, so she's been, she wanted to join us. So um, Heather has done a couple of videos, and hers are, I like the way Heather did her videos. She shows you each day, and she talks. There's a lot of conversation going on between her and her husband, and I enjoy listening to that. And the one day she left her shoes out in the rain. So she had to wear squishy shoes. And another day, she wore sandals with socks because her shoes were squishy wet. That must have been tough. Mm -hmm. But uh, my shoes actually felt a little damp today. But I was walking in the grass, for really. And they were on my feet. But I did it purposely. I didn't forget them out in the rain. I just was walking in the grass. Oh, you're yawning. You're tired. Ooh. Jim is tired. He's had That's a rough okay. Day. He's had a rough day, probably. He did go up in the barn and work on a lawnmower. He's got this lawnmower that my son-in-law had that was at a, at somebody's place to be fixed, and it was there for over a year. And he also had a weed whacker, weed yeah. eater. Well, if the weed eater was his brother-in-law's. I fixed that before. This one has been at somebody's shop for over a year and they didn't do anything with it and in fact they didn't do anything with the weed whacker either and so jim fixed it so this is and the lawnmower doesn't have a key so he was going to go up above to see if he could hotwire it well come to find out his key fits it so it must have a universal um ignition most, most lawnmowers have universal <laughs> so, key. luckily and he got it to start but it doesn't run right so he's gonna have to try to figure out why it's not running right and he'll i'm sure he'll get it he got his oh. tractor back together so it looks like a tractor again which is great because he's got some mowing to do down on the farm and he has mowing here to do he did mow on the little with the, our little mower that he bought for the apartment houses and he looked like he was riding my motorcycle because he's so big compared to... And my my bike is a 250 bike and his is a 1800, the 18, big one. 16 and 18. Yeah. So they one. are big in comparison <laughs> to mine. And so that's what he looked like. He looked like this big giant on a little tiny lawnmower. So it's better that his, his tractor is fixed so he can look like he's supposed to look. It's... I believe that is the end of my video, so I thank you for watching, and check the numbers at the end if you want to know how far and how much I walked, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. That was a sad goodbye. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold. I want to say bye. <laughs> okay, you can turn it off now. <laughs>